We all love Christmas. Christmas light drives, hot chocolate, and Christmas baking with family and friends. Of course, watching the excitement building in children, but most of all, and most important, gathering to worship. I know that I'm not alone in my love of singing Christmas carols and celebrating with Christmas pageantry, whether it's a children's Sunday school program or the full choir and orchestra, lifting up their voices and talents to the Lord. It stirs us all. And at the center of all this energy and excitement is the simple, unvarnished, humble record of the birth of our Savior, along with the first worshipers and the first evangelists, the shepherds. Luke tells us the story that changed the world. We read in Luke chapter two, in those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered this was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. In the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, fear not for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angel went away from them, into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had become told to them concerning the child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Yes, Jesus changed the world. And he has changed our lives by offering us forgiveness and a restored relationship with God. And so we worship, we bring our gifts and offer our thanks and sing our praises and proclaim our testimonies like the shepherds worshiped and like the angels worshiped. Yes, the Savior invites us to worship at Christmas and of course, always with our every life and breath. Oh, come, let us adore him. And on behalf of all of us here at Barakos, I wanna wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas.